Hey guys, today we're talking about the FX line of filters. In fact, we have the FX6 over here, new and improved, and beside it, the FX4, brand new. Now, we've always been known for big pump performance and big filtration capacity. In fact, the FX6 is rated for aquariums all the way up to 400 US gallons or 1500 liters, and the FX4 for aquariums all the way up to 250 US gallons or 1,000 liters. Now these filters continue to feature the same great things. Utility valve, which in fact is becoming more useful all the time and we're going to get into that shortly. Smart pump technology, a system that basically monitors water flow and temporarily shuts the filter down every 12 hours to ensure it vacates any trapped air. Multi-stage filtration, in fact, with the FX6, it's up to six different stages of filtration, and with the FX4, up to five different stages of filtration. Now, we've always been known about, we've always been known for filter media solutions. In fact, that benefits those that want to have less to do with filter media maintenance, less frequently, or for those that want the ultimate in water quality, it allows you to get your filter media for easy access and regular maintenance. Let's look at some other great features on the top and bottom of this FX6. Now starting with the bottom, we have rubber feet for quiet operation. We have easy grip lid fasteners. You can see they're really easy to grip a hold of and tighten down the top with. We have a hose clip for the hose that is now supplied with the filter so that you can do water changes using the FX6. And we have our Aquastop valves, which make attaching your filter and disconnecting it from your aquarium very easy and convenient. Now that we've covered the standard features, let's have a look at what's new. Most notably, the Fluval FX Gravel Vac. Now the Gravel Vac is powered by this FX filter. That's a lot of power behind the gravel washing. You know, there's a lot of utility and convenience built into the system as well. Let's have a look at the components and see how it works. Now there's a hose that's supplied with the FX filter, which goes and connects to the actual utility valve, which basically drives the whole system. And there's the hosing that clips to this now included filter hose clip on, on FX canister filters. So it goes right in there real easy. There's also a click fit connector, which connects to the actual filter module. Pops right on, pops right off. When you're not using it, you can always just click it right back here and you can use it connected, leave it connected to the actual canister filter when you're not using it. Now there's an actual media bag. There's a choice of two, fine and super fine, depending on your aquarium maintenance needs. You can access them and, and of course remove them for cleaning and put them back. Heavy duty suction cups, four of them. So that keeps the unit in place. Doesn't move around when you're doing the gravel washing. So you can focus on doing that. There's of course a gravel washing tube. In fact, two of them, one for an extra one supplied for deeper tanks. There is a very easy to use flow control valve, thumb operated. And for example, if you would have fine to very coarse gravel, you can adjust the flow. There's a gravel guard, prevents gravel from getting in your filter. And of course, there's the hosing that's supplied with your gravel vac as well. One of the coolest new features of the Fluval FX filters is the fact that you can now do a water change using a utility valve. So we're going to show you how it's done. Now the first thing you do is unplug your filter. The second thing you're going to do is actually close the output valve. Then you're going to use the hose that's supplied with the filter and connect it to the utility valve. So you can take off the safety cap. You're going to put the hosing onto the valve and you're going to lock it down securely. Get a bucket and then simply open your utility valve and the water will drain out. Okay, so I went ahead and closed the utility valve. After the bucket was filled with water, I disposed of it, got a new bucket of water, I'm ready to refill. Let's take you through how that's done. Now, you've got to connect it. Basically what I did was open the output valve and plug the unit in and I let it run for three minutes. That's to allow the system to vacate any trapped air out. Now we're ready to refill. So basically just close the input valve, open up the utility valve, water gets aspirated back into the aquarium. Once that's done, very easy, 
close the utility valve, cap it off, and simply open up my intake. Once you've done that, unplug the unit and replug it. You've reset and you're ready to go. That easy. So what's new on the inside of the filter? Well, we've pulled out the filter media baskets to show you. We use a basket and basket design, which optimizes filter media utility. And you can see that the water flow is basically directed through these foam blocks on the outside, up through the top, and then down to the pump input and back into your tank. Now we've included two filter media insert baskets on the FX6. So you now have up to six different stages of filtration. And on the FX4, you have up to five different stages of filtration. Same principle of filtration. That begs the question, why did we come out with the FX4? Well, we came out with the FX4 because it slots in perfectly between our flu valve 406, which is rated for aquariums up to 100 US gallons or 400 liters, and our FX6, which is rated for aquariums up to 400 US gallons or about 1500 liters. So the FX4 rated to four aquariums up to 250 US gallons or 1000 liters slots right in there. So now we've covered the basic features of, the fil of these filters. Let's get into a setup using the FX4. Same method applies to the FX6, of course.